What is going on people? Welcome back to another video with myself, Hoxton. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna do a real quick comparison for you guys, because a lot of people have been asking me, what is the difference between Canada Goose Windham Parker jackets and the Macmillan Parker jackets? So I've actually got two jackets in today, so I'm gonna quickly share those with you guys. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Right, so the first jacket I'm gonna show you is the Canada Goose Macmillan Parker. Now this one is actually one of my favorite Parkers. New season Parkers, they are now coming with the back straps. Now this is what you call the back strap right here. So literally you can just put that around on your back and it's just meant to be a way for you to carry your jacket if it gets too hot. Now initially you'd be wearing a jacket normally like this. It gets too hot or you need to take it off really quickly but you don't want to carry the jacket because remember these jackets are kind of more designed for arctic temperatures you can literally just you can literally just take it off like that and it, you can have it swinging on the back a down insulated jacket so it's super warm also the material on the outside of the jacket is known as arctic tech which is canada goose's own special material which only canada goose use that renders the jacket water repellent it is also wind resistant as well and the material is quite durable and sturdy one of the things that i love about canada goose is they have a really good warranty for their clothing so if you do encounter any problems with this jacket mainly problems as a, a as a result of a fault not something like you've got a hole in it or a, a cigarette burn or some damage to it they're not going to cover things like that but if faults do appear on the jacket you can actually contact canada goose through their warranty system on the website and they can check and investigate the jacket and a couple of times they've even repaired and they've also swapped jackets in the past so that's just something to note that their warranty um, is really really good you've got much shorter pockets than you do with the Canada Goose Windham. The Windham tends to have longer pockets on the side. The other thing about the Macmillan is it's got a cleaner finish to the front. So with the Windham, there's a set of buttons that go when you put the button flap over it. But with the Macmillan, it's just a much more clean finish throughout the jacket. It has a really nice quilted finish to the front of the jacket and also around the back of the jacket. And what a lot of people like is the hood as well, which can be extended which can be extended like that now another thing that you'll notice about these can these, these canada goose jackets is the new ones are now starting to come with zips on the hood all along there because you can you can either swap it for a rough from an older jacket or you can buy the new down trims that go around the side of the hood. I think Canada Goose sell those for about 50 or 100 pounds on their website. This video is sponsored by Louisa Vioroma. We have a 25% discount code on lots of different items, including the one that I'm wearing here and the Windham jacket that I have in this video. So make sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description box below, but this will not be lasting very long, guys. It's only lasting for literally another week. So make sure you check it out before that runs out. A lot of followers get disappointed when those codes run out. That's 25% off from Louisa Villaroma. The other thing that I've noticed about the Macmillan is it's coming with this, this new curl neck pocket, which doesn't really, which hasn't really come with the Ganada Goose Macmillan before. So this is something that's a little bit of a different feature as well. So it's good to see them kind of adding and modifying the jacket. The other thing that I've noticed is that the care labels are totally different. So I had a, a lot of followers that were concerned when they said, hey, um, I've got my Canada Goose, but the labels have all changed. So now you've got this care label at the front. It says care content warranty. So it's got lots of information on there. Notably, there's quite a few labels that are missing from the old seasons. Like for example, there was a blue label that had the down association that's missing. And typically in the past, the information care label would usually be at the front, but now they've gone ahead and they stuck that right at the back. So a little bit of a few changes there with the Canada Goose with the Canada Goose Macmillan. So yeah, just for you guys to know, so don't get worried when you see these new features on the new jackets, okay? The other item that I'm wearing, just in case you're wondering, is this Ami top, which I also got from Louisa Villaroma. This is actually also included in the 25% off. You guys know that I'm a big fan of Ami. They've been doing some really nice collections for their AW season. So also the quality on the stuff is really good. It's quite subtle as well, so it's nothing too loud. So for me, I think it fits really well. Top at the moment that I'm wearing from Ami is a size large. So the next jacket that I want to show you is the Canada Goose Windham. So let's check that out. So this is the Canada Goose Windham Parker. Very similar to the Macmillan, except this one. This one has a different design to the front. Now it's a, it's a very similar jacket in terms of the warmth is more or less the same. The features and the materials in the jacket are all more or less the same. The only difference that I would say, say about this jacket is the pockets on the side they are quite, they are much bigger than the Canada Goose Macmillan. So this zip runs all the way to the top here and we've got a top pocket 
up on the side here and a bottom pocket here on the side and the same thing on the other side as well. Two pockets, one on the bottom, one on the top and also the pockets are fleeced as they are with the Macmillan as well so it's good to see that you've got the fleece pockets because if your arms are cold or wet you can just quickly put them in there, rummage them around and they should warm up and dry quite quickly. The new Canada Goose Windhams, they do not come with the fur anymore so they now come with this down down hood trim which can come off i actually quite like these and i do think it adds to the feature of the hood also we've got the pocket here on the in, on the inside of the jacket the same thing here we've got a net feature here that we can see on the jacket all the care labels on the inside of the jacket as well it's, it's a size large so it fits really nice but if you look at it carefully it, there is a bit of a difference between this one and the Canada Goose Macmillan. So it's more or less the same parka, it's just down to if you like thick wider pockets. And also, and also this one also comes with an extended hood as well, okay? With the Canada Goose um, Windham, you're okay going true to size. This is a size large and it fits me absolutely fine. Lengthwise, it's more or less the same. The only difference really is the design to the front of the jacket where you've got wider pockets here. Both jackets you can now put, um, if you have an old fur ruff, they can be attached to the jackets. Also, you can also buy hood down trims as well, which can also attach to the jacket. That is it. It was a really quick video because I get this question a lot this time of year is, what should I go for? Should I go for the Windham or should I go for the Canada Goose Macmillan? Personally, I tend to like the Canada Goose Macmillan. I really like the design and the style of it. I think it's really nice. The Windham seems to be the more popular model, so you might see more people with the Windham. Typically, when I see a lot more people wear a certain style of jacket, then I want to go with something that's a little bit different. So the choice is up to you. Either way, they're both really good jackets. And remember, we got 25% off, lots of different luxury brands. So if you wanna go ahead and check that out, make sure to go to the description box below, okay? Guys, I'm out of here, lots more coming, peace.